How do we remain engaged at our jobs even though many of us are still stuck at home? In my first video as part of my engagement series, I talked about the importance of engagement and how it reduces the risk of talent leaving your organization and how when someone is highly engaged, it increases their overall performance. So today, I am going to give you my first tip to help you and your colleagues remain engaged, leveraging a fantastic collaboration tool in a way, frankly, you may not have thought of. My name is John Seaton, the Collaboration Specialist. My mission is to provide you with simple tips so that you can have the best experience when communicating with customers and colleagues when working from home. Now, I don't know about you, but one of the things I miss most about going into the office is those informal conversations that I have with my colleagues in the break room, hallway, or especially when I go out to lunch. I'm going to show you a quick way to replace the best part about these things, other than the coffee and food, of course. I'm talking about the casual, personal interactions. Now, before you start to roll your eyes, no, I'm not talking about that scheduled forced happy hour. Put a finger down if you've had your fill of those scheduled happy hours. The no pressure, non-happy hour virtual water cooler that I'm going to show you will give you a chance to get to know your coworkers and management on a more personal level. You'll be able to talk about family, pets, weekend activities, favorite sports teams, all of these casual conversations that help to build trust and rapport, which can only help when working together as a team. It will also provide you with a casual environment to share ideas and knowledge that you may not ordinarily have in a formal setting. There'll be a sense of safety and throwing out that crazy idea that may actually turn into something big. It also provides an opportunity to run into management so that you get to know them better and they get to know you better. Remaining visible when working from home, it's tough. So we're all missing out on being more visible as a result. Now let me show you how easy it is to create that virtual water cooler using the WebEx app and some of the features that make it different than that high pressure schedule virtual happy hour that, you know, we all love. Now we can easily create a virtual water cooler with the WebEx app. You're looking at the desktop application here. And so we're going to go up to the plus sign up top and we're going to create a virtual water cooler space. So we're going to create a space and we're going to give it a name. We're going to name it the One Pen Plaza Virtual Water Cooler Space. Now what we have to do is add people to the space and it's very simple. You click on add people and you simply type in their names. And so if they're within your company, it should pull it up via Active Directory. And if they're external, if you want to have uh, invite people out to lunch from another company, easy to do that too. You would just enter their entire email address and they would get an invitation. For the final finishing touch of the space, I'll update the icon to be a lemonade pitcher. Why not? You have access to gifts, so you can make the space casual and fun to begin with when you invite everyone to it. Make it clear that, hey, this is just a water cooler. Now, just as we might discuss around the water cooler, I might want to share with the team that my son is back to training at Elon, so I'm going to share a picture of it. The other very cool thing that you can do is that you can add links or web pages to the virtual water cooler space. So all you have to do is to click on add and then add links and put in the hyperlink and that can now be part of your space. And so you can always refer back to it very easily. In this case, we were talking about hiking in New Jersey, so I posted a link about hiking. Now, the best thing about this virtual water cooler is the fact that you can meet with anyone in this team at any time. It doesn't need to be scheduled. So in this case, I might suggest that we meet for lunch. And then people just have the option to join. You don't have to join. The meeting's always there. So it's like going down to the cafeteria, going to a break room. If someone's there, they're there. If not, they're not. And you can see who's in that virtual meeting or that virtual break room before you even join. It's fantastic. Now, if someone enters that virtual water cooler space, there'll be a little pop-up in the bottom right. And there'll be a green icon next to the name of the water cooler space in the upper left. 
and you'll see an indication of how many people are there. So you see that one person is actually joined. So I hit the big green button. I'll get a preview screen. I've got a fun virtual background. I hit join meeting and we'll see what other participants are in the meeting. They'll pop up and here comes Ann. So I see Ann's in the meeting. If I want to see who else is hanging out by the water cooler, I just click on the participants icon at the bottom and I see that Ann's in the meeting and Alexander, he hasn't made it to the break room yet. What's great about this, you can drop in and out as you please. No pressure. So a fantastic way to stay engaged. We can exchange messages, photos, links. We can join and drop out. There's no pressure. It's not like those scheduled happy hours that we all know and love. So get the WebEx app, create a virtual water cooler space, and get engaged. So isn't this a great idea? So your action is to take the lead in your organization. Get the WebEx app, create a space, start those casual conversations and interactions, but most importantly, have some fun with it. So I hope these tips will make your day just a little bit easier and a little bit more engaging. Thanks for watching.